Welcome, my name is Kevin Ryan. I'm here to show you about making infographics for your class. And let me make uh, become a little bit smaller here. And I'll show you step by step. Now, maybe you already know a little bit about how to write sentences and paragraphs in English. Maybe you can take pictures or make drawings. Those are good ways to begin to do an infographic. What is an infographic? It is information with graphics together. That means that your information are usually facts or opinions, numbers, quotes. You can uh, do research to find all of those. And graphics are pictures or illustrations, comics, artwork, many different kinds. The idea is to put the information together with the graphics. The information helps the graphics, and the graphics help the information. Here are some examples of graphics. And when you combine it with infographics, you get information and graphics together. Here are two examples that I have made before. Uh, here's an example about a course outline. Information in example one and example two. Uh, making a video are instructions you can use for many different kinds of things. I would like you now to stop the video and find a page on Google. If you go to Google and uh, you type in infographic and Japan and click on images, I'm sure you can find one very quickly. Find one of your favorite and look at it closely. Please do that now. Okay, now we're back. I hope you uh, have found a good infographic. Please look at it closely and find out what kind of information is on the infographic and what kind of graphics and do they help each other out. That is something very important. Okay, I would like to show you now how to make a, sorry, <laughs> how to make a, a very simple infographic. And here is a link here. You can use the QR code or uh, the link is on the file. And uh, try to go to that. It's a very short video about how to make a simple infographic. Please Okay, and now, uh, after you've seen that, I just want to explain there are four steps to make a good infographic. The first one is to pick a topic and do research. You have to read and collect important points and take notes. It's the same for an essay. Number two, though, is to cut. You have to cut many of the words from the... Uh, research and uh, down to the minimum and then add graphics and finally publish and share so let's look at each one of these four steps here's two examples for each step one is about abe no mask a student uh, did some research about abe no mask and i did one about procedural rhetoric again you can find the links to the full documents down here and step two you can see there are many fewer words here than before. Before you had the research, and now you have much simpler, fewer words to put into the infographic. Then finally, some design. I find that making a, uh, using paper and a pen or a pencil can help much easier. And finally, here are the final products for the Abe no Mask and the procedural rhetoric. Uh, and uh, you can click on the links to see those if you like. I use a tool called Canva. It's at canva.com. It works in Japanese and English. It's free. You can use it by yourself or you can use it in a class like me. And note that uh, the support is also in Japanese. And you can find out how to learn more uh, by using the Learn or the uh, Gakubu there. And please remember that uh, infographics are a great way to communicate in English because 
the graphics help the information and the information helps the graphics. Thank you.